Hey guys, what's up? This is Atuf, and with me today, I have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. So like the name suggests, it's a cheaper and less powerful version of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. So I've been using the Tab S6 Lite for quite some time now, and here's my review. With me, I have the Angora Blue LTE variant, but the tablet is also available in chiffon pink and oxford grey. In the back of the tablet, we have the Samsung logo and the AKG logo as well. Samsung has gone for a unibody aluminium design with the Tab S6 Lite. And I have to say, the tablet looks and feels really great in your hand. This is quite a premium device for such a small price. The display is a 10.4 inch LCD display with a resolution of 2000 into 1200. Unfortunately, we don't get the more premium AMOLED display found in the Tab S6, but it's not a pr problem considering the price of the tablet. The viewing angles are also pretty good and the colors are quite accurate. The tablet comes packed with a Samsung Exynos 9611 processor. 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage and a 7040 mAh battery. So the processor on the tablet is the same found on Samsung's M21 mobile phones. The S6 Lite is not really a powerhouse. It should be able to run games at decent graphics but don't go expecting flagship level performance from this tablet. I tested Call of Duty on the device and I did not notice any lags or stuttering while playing. The tab runs on the latest Android 10 software with the One UI 2.5 skin on it. You can also expect future updates for at least 2 years. Now the main reason you would want to get an S6 Lite is because of this, the S Pen. Until now the S Pen hasn't been available in any of their mid-range devices. But with the S6 Lite and the Note 10 Lite, things have changed. You must be wondering who is the S Pen actually for? Well, if you are someone who likes to draw or maybe if you are a college student who wants to take down notes, then you can do it on your tablet. And now with the pandemic going on, it does come in handy. There is a bit of a latency with the S Pen, but it isn't something which is really noticeable. The S Pen has a button on it, which doesn't really do much. It can be pressed to bring up the air commands or to take down notes quickly. When the S Pen is not in use, you can attach it to your device like this. So now let's talk about the cameras. There are two cameras on the tablet. In the rear, we have the 8 megapixel primary camera and in the front, we have a 5 megapixel selfie cam. Now, if you're looking for a tablet to get good photos, then this isn't the one for you. The camera is in no means bad. It does take decent pictures under good lighting conditions, but then Samsung hasn't really put much effort into the sensors. But that's okay cause taking photos is not really the purpose for which you buy a tablet. You'd rather be watching videos, playing games and listening to music. You do get the option of face unlock with the S6 Lite. It doesn't have any fingerprint sensors so this does come in handy. The audio on the tablet is tuned by AKG. There are two speakers, one at the bottom and another at the top. Right next to it, we have a 3.5 mm headphone jack, which is a bonus. Here's a sample of the speakers. After everything, in the end of the day, what really matters is how long will your battery last. 
So the 7040 milliamp hour battery does a pretty good job. After all your work for the day is over, there should be some more juice remaining in the tablet. Now where Samsung should have improved should be the charging speed. The S6 Lite has a Type-C charging port which supports up to 15 watt fast charging. But the adapter Samsung has included in the box is a 7.5 watt charger. So charging up your device is definitely going to take up a lot of your time. So should you get the S6 Lite? Now the main highlight of the tablet is the S Pen. And if you are someone who is into drawing or designing but doesn't want to spend much on a high-end tablet or maybe if you don't care much about power and want to watch movies and play casual games on your tablet then look no further. So the Tab S6 Lite does everything you expect it to do. You can play your games, watch your movies, listen to your music without a problem. The only place where the tablet does lack is the cameras. But to counter that, Samsung has offered you the S Pen. The S Pen is one of the best styluses available in the market. So if you guys are looking for a tablet which is budget friendly and isn't too heavy on your pockets, I can definitely recommend it to you. So thanks guys for watching my video and if you guys like the video, do subscribe to my channel and hit the like button down below. Thank you.